Our fallen soldier team coverage continues tonight. Newston's Mike Grant stood by as thousands lined the streets in Illinois and Indiana. People began lining the streets of Lawrenceville early. Young people and those not so young taking a place along the roadside to honor the sacrifice of Specialist Trevor Pinnock. I want to support our fallen soldier. I come from a military family. Pinnock died in an IED attack in Afghanistan. A full procession of police, fire, and Patriot Guard guided the coach that carried him through his hometown, where the people on the route paid tribute with flags and hands over their hearts and simple silence. It brings tears to my eyes. Um, being a, a veteran, um, I am very proud of the people of Lawrence County for what they've done. The procession also rolled through Vincennes, where more people were on hand to greet the fallen warrior and to show their gratitude. Now it's sad to think that a 20-year-old gave up his life. That's what's sad. He had all of his future in front of him. This part of the Wabash Valley is filled with history and heroes. And for the thousands who lined the streets in Lawrenceville and Vincennes, Trevor Pinnock is the latest addition to that list. We should be proud to be Americans, the land of the free, and that what our servicemen sacrifice and their families as well. So as these communities pause to show their support for Specialist Pinnock, what is ahead will be a long and painful goodbye from people filled with gratitude. In Vincennes, I'm Mike Grant, News 10. Visitation for Specialist Trevor Pinnock will be Sunday from 2 until 7 Central Time at the Lawrenceville High School Auditorium. Funeral services begin Monday at 11. It'll be at the high school auditorium with burial in the Memorial Park Cemetery in Vincennes.